What's up y'all? Thank you for clicking on this video. You are watching The Nurse Life with myself, Renika. For those of you that are new, we do everything from lifestyle vlogs to nursing content and everything in between, okay? So if you are new, hey girl, hey. And for my returning subscribers, I definitely appreciate you guys and thank you for coming back. I don't know if you can tell from this distance the way my face is looking y'all, but I intentionally came on camera looking this way so that you guys can see my face, okay? Look at my face before I get into it. Before I tell y'all what happened, <sighs> being adventurous and trying new skin products and doing that, my face looks a hot mess, okay? It looks a hot mess. And if it doesn't look a hot mess, it feels like a hot mess. So, if you get into the skin, right here you can see like this shadow or like this red tone it literally looks like i have blush on in in that corner of my face and i don't around my mouth rashes dry forehead i don't know if you can tell also like has rashes and the skin just looks I want to say burnt almost like if you if I was to get like a skin almost as if I was to get like a suntan it just looks burnt and dry with like rashes and I probably shouldn't be touching it but you can see like the little patches as well it, they almost look like hives or something and they could be so basically I think I had an allergic reaction to a skin product that I just purchased let me go and get it and show you guys. Okay, so before I show you guys what the product is, I just want to say that I'm so happy that in my last vlog, I did not show you guys my recent Sephora products because that would have been in that bag, okay? And I would have been recommending these products to you guys before I actually used it on myself. And everyone's skin is different, I know that, so what may happen to me or what may work for me may not work for you, but y'all, this hair, this Laneige, it's the Radiance or more like Radiant C because it is a vitamin C moisturizer that's supposed to just brighten the skin, give you an even tone, and like I said, moisturize and hydrate the skin. So I decided to finally use it after a few days of having it and it wasn't until a few hours later y'all i went to work and around my mouth just started itching it just felt weird and started itching so i'm like what's going on did i miss and touch something and then touch my face i had literally only been to work for about maybe an hour at that point I didn't have on a mask or anything no lip gloss no chapstick nothing like that that could have that I would have thought to say, okay, maybe it was one of those items. So I'm like, what's going on? And as the time progressed, the area just like became raised, had like sort of like raised bumps, or like I said, rashes, or like these hives, almost like what you can see there, it almost felt like that around my mouth. So I'm like, OMG, I know I used that new skincare product today. I said, it can't be that like I'm, i was i was really hoping that it wasn't this because i just wanted to give this a try so bad the only thing i could sum it up to is this laneige moisturizer y'all i know i shouldn't be putting anything on the skin now but y'all it's dry and it feels really bad and the rash feels like it's moving down to like my lip area it just feels like really dry y'all so i'm just going in with my La Roche Posay products, so I'm still using the face. I'm still using the face wash. I use that, and now I'm going in with their Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream just to try and moisturize the skin. I'm not gonna put anything else, no other products on my skin right now. Like even that, using that lotion causes my skin to burn, y'all. And so anyway, that night when I was at work. I'm like, oh no, I can't stay to work like this. At the same time, I didn't want to go home because I'm like, okay, so there's something small, just a little rash or whatever. All you need is some Benadryl or something. So I quickly dashed out to the pharmacy 
and I got me some Benadryl, I got me some cortisone, I was just trying to find anything that I thought would work. So I used the cortisone, that definitely stopped the itching, but the, the hives and the rashes are still present on my face. So I'm definitely returning this product. I'm going to Sephora today, y'all, to return that product and to tell them, run me my money because this Laneige, I know Sephora, you know, don't really have nothing to do with this particular brand, but yeah, I'm going to need my money back because <laughs> y'all, yeah, I'm just going to need my money back. I should put on some lotion, y'all. So the trick is to put on like lotion or body oil or even to mix the lotion and body oil and then go behind with your perfume. So I should, I really should do that because I haven't put any lotion on yet. But I think I'm going to go in with the Nest Lychee Rose today. I had showed you guys this in one or two of the last vlogs. And yeah, it's still summer. So this scent is still perfect for this time. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but I feel like the perfume, I guess people put on perfume depending on the way the perfume makes them feel, like the way the scent probably makes them feel and the mood that it puts them in. But I feel like my perfume should just match what I'm wearing. So I just feel like it's, you know, I'm wearing black. The perfume is packaged in black. You know, we look cute together. <laughs> very cute, very modest, very mindful, you know, very demure. So yeah, I sort of just do the whole <laughs> matching thing. I don't know if it makes, ooh, <coughs> I shouldn't have talked. But yeah, I don't know if it makes sense, but that's sort of what I do sometimes. This is the cream and the packaging. I just love the packaging. It's like in this glass bottle. So this is it here. And the product looks like this. Light moisturizer. Like I said, it's not as thick as the... La Roche Posay. So anyway, I said all of that to say that I don't think the vitamin C is the issue for me. I'm just assuming that this one was a little too strong for my face. So this one is empty, which is why I went looking for a new one. And so I'm still going to probably either maybe I should just stick to what I know, right? Stick to what's working. They say what ain't broke, don't fix it. So maybe I should just stick with this, but I guess it's just so much products out there. I just wanted to sort of try my hands with different ones, but that's where this got me. So I'm just gonna see what happens <laughs> when I get into Sephora. But anyway, babe, you ready? Let's go. So we are on our way to the movies. My husband, he just loves the movies, y'all. If he could go to the movies every day, he's gonna do that. He will do that. So, I think we're going to watch the movie Alien. And this is the fit. Um, let me see if y'all can see. Uh -oh. I'm just wearing this. Um, basically, I guess it's sort of like a, not a, sports bra but like a crop top from old navy with my oh with my cargo pants from amazon i believe with my fabletics i feel like i can't find my words what's this again fanny pack so this <laughs> all of a sudden right so this is my come here don't go nowhere because you're gonna give them a fit check in a minute babe right here is wearing Looking oh so fly today. He's wearing, I'm coming up with the, the frame. <laughs> what are you wearing? You're wearing your baseball, um, your baseball jersey. Turn around, give us a spin. Oh, it has no number to the back. <laughs> but he's wearing that with a little white tee. His old navy gray pants to match me. And then he's wearing his, his Nike Air Max. Air Max. Nike Air Max from Nike, obviously, that I bought him. I think I bought you this entire outfit. Nice. <laughs> I bought it even, 
even down to the watch y'all come on come closer down to the watch this is this techno that's all i say <laughs> i bought him this literally this whole outfit you know at separate times but yeah anyway looking good looking good looking good, looking good. Okay. i'm ready okay. yeah i tell him he need a picture today y'all because he don't usually be looking this you know this fly this this um this look. <laughs> You should be looking this fly. Basically, we're gonna leave it at that. So I tell him I have to take a picture with him today or of him today. And yeah, with his fresh haircut that he got yesterday. We're gonna head out to the movies now. What are we gonna see? A alien? No. So, um, what did I say? The AI. Like AI? Yeah. Um, okay, the AI movie, whatever. So we're gonna watch that and yeah. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. <laughs> we decided to make a quick Wendy stop before going to the movies. I got me some garlic Parmesan nuggets. I love me some garlic, so this was a no brainer for me. Ugh. Ah! I put this towel here for a reason. Still got my clothes messed up, man. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> anyway, y'all. So. Don't look saucy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it look like it, it. It does look saucy. It looks more buttery. When you had these, what did you have? So he had these before, but he told me he didn't really like them. But I like them; they're good. Maybe you need to try it again. When sense does Wendy's not sell apple pies? Like, is it just in America? Because in the Bahamas, we have apple pies. We have the nice, crispy, flaky apple pie. When we pulled up to the window and asked her for an apple pie, she was like, "Oh, we don't, we don't have apple pies." I'm like, "What do you mean? You don't have them now, or or you guys don't sell them?" So she was like, "We don't have apple pies." She was like, "McDonald's, McDonald's does, but we don't." And this was the second time they did that because one morning we went to Wendy's and we wanted pancakes, and so the lady was like. We don't have pancakes, ma'am. And I'm like, what do you mean? Don't you guys sell pancakes? So she was like, this is not McDonald's. And I was like, <laughs> like, excuse me? As far as I know, Wendy's sells pancakes. So I don't know why things are so different in comparison to here in the Bahamas, but <clears throat> things are really different. <laughs> really different and I prefer Wendy's pancakes over McDonald's that's the thing but apparently in America y'all Wendy's don't have pancakes and Wendy's don't have apple pies so I'm gonna need y'all to get with it okay get with it okay so before we go into the movies I just wanted y'all to get a better view of my face in case you couldn't see it in the bathroom so I don't know if you guys can see the rashes on my forehead and then just my skin texture up in here. This is not normal for me. The discoloration, it looks red and flushed. Red and flushed. Around my mouth area. Here, you can see the hives. <clears throat> Cobb salad. Cobb salad? I have the chicken or tofu on that. That's chicken. 
Chicken, alright? Yes. Um, what what type of dressing comes with it? It comes with a blue cheese dressing. Okay. Can I actually get the ranch? Ranch dressing instead? Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it'll be an extra one one. Okay, can I do that? Gotcha. Thank you. Alright, anything else you need today? I think that's it. That sounds good. The cob salad with chicken and steak with the ranch dressing instead of the blue cheese dressing. No blue cheese crumbles. We ate 65 at the window. Okay, yeah. sorry. And can I actually add the cucumber mint lemonade? I just pulled up to salad and go y'all. I definitely can't come here without getting the cucumber mint lemonade. I almost forgot that. And with the salad, wait until y'all see the, si the size of my salad along with the drink and... Hi, what's the total again? It's the uh, 9.95. Okay, thank you. Yep. 9.95, can't beat that. Is that a Wendy's cup? Yeah. It, that's what I had today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is actually yeah. from yesterday. Oh, there you go. But, you know, it's yeah. crazy. They're doing like a Krabby Patty meal. Did you really? Hear about that? No. Because uh, it's like the 25th anniversary of SpongeBob, right? Oh, and really? They're doing like a Krabby Patty meal. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you know that? No. Yeah. I think it starts in uh, October, I want to say. Oh, October. I don't remember, though, yeah. Okay, I'd like to try that and see yeah, what they do saying? differently. Yeah. Well, because as a kid, I watched Spongebob, so it's Right, like, that's uh, cool. You know what I'm saying? Spongebob Krabby Hope Patty. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, y'all. So, I am back home. As you can see, I'm done eating. The bowl is practically empty, but you see the size of it. So, this is what I wanted to come on to show you guys. The size of this salad, like Wendy's, who? Wendy's could never, okay? So this was basically a large salad. They only come in this one size, I believe. And then my cucumber lemonade. Probably not gonna drink all of that, but yeah. That was my order from Salad and Go. Uh, while I was eating, I actually forgot that I didn't show you guys my nails after we got them done. So this is the color that I got. It's like a nice tan nudie shade so this was different for me because i usually get my french tips let's see it against against the flowers yeah so super simple but i think it's nice okay y'all so we're back in the bathroom because we're going to do some skincare but i was talking about my nails and i started to say that i just keep my nails super simple these days probably because i am a nurse now and y'all know well you may not know but in the bahamas where i'm from like nursing <clears throat> i want to say they treat nursing like a i don't know like a cult or something <laughs> not and that the cult may be for lack of a better word but when i say cult i mean like there's a stickler for the uniform that we have to wear you know, you have to wear certain colors, you have to wear certain shoes, you definitely shouldn't be wearing tennis or Crocs for the most part. And it's just certain rules that they have in place. So like long nails, that's a no-no. And I mean, obvious is, obviously it's for the betterment of the patient. You don't wanna be scraping, poking, whatever the patients as you work. And also they say that these nails are a perfect ground a perfect breeding ground for bacteria and germs and so they just have like a bunch of rules and like i said it's probably true but of course we don't like to adhere to the rules sometimes um here in the u.s i've probably had someone tell me about my nails one time i ain't gonna lie and i think she had told me you know that she was like oh your nails are are nice but they're a little long you know that kind of way and so i think that is the reason for keeping the nails you know sort of short and simple as well i literally just got through washing my face this is how it looks and i really don't know if this light sort of hides like the true between the light and the camera i don't know if it hides like the true true texture of my skin i can definitely see the rashes up here i think you guys can see it and my skin is usually dry i feel like i have normal to dry skin I told you guys that I was going to Sephora yesterday to return that Laneige vitamin C and so I did just that so we got our little Sephora bag here and I went ahead and I got the skin fix now I've never tried this 
I've never tried this, so this is also new. <laughs> this is also new to my skin, and I don't know, it may not be the best idea. And I wanted to try the first aid beauty, but when I saw this, I said, let me just give this one a try. It says here that this is for eczema, and it's a dermatitis relief balm for face and body. Um, they also said that it targets flaky eyelids, dry patches on the face and body, itchy, irritated skin, visible redness. It's for all skin types, even sensitive skin. They said no added steroids, no added antibiotics, fragrance, parabens, all those things. And so, yeah, hopefully this will do the trick. But my lips are feeling very dry, so I'm gonna go ahead with I'm gonna go ahead with some of this Vaseline. And I probably should have done that first before I started talking to y'all. So I hope my lips wasn't <laughs> dry and crusty as I was talking all that time. But anyway. I'm gonna take that off. I feel like I'm looking crazy. I should just put it on one part of my face just to see like how it does, but we're just gonna put it all over. Y'all, I was watching one of the girlies on YouTube. Um, I think her name is Only One Jess. That's the name of her channel. I was watching her and I was watching her last night and she had made this comment saying how she felt so bad because, well, not really bad, but she had just pointed out the fact that she found herself treating her husband extra nicely um, that particular day because he got a haircut <laughs> and I found that so funny because I find myself doing the same thing so for you I, I guess not necessarily married folks but anyone who's in a relationship or you have your little boo thing or whatever like do you find yourself I'm gonna put some on my neck too like do you find yourself just being a little extra nicer or just yeah just being a little extra nicer giving one or two little extra kisses or something to your significant other after he gets a haircut <laughs> it's so crazy because i don't know if they do the same thing to us i don't think i i don't think there's a difference when i get my hair done but when hubby gets his haircut i definitely notice that there is a difference and when she said that in her vlog i definitely laughed because i'm like damn like i do the same thing <laughs> i definitely do the same thing and he probably could agree to that <laughs> so it was so funny because i definitely related to that the haircut just be looking right it just it just gets them right and get them looking how they need to be looking all the time 365 365 days out of the year they need to be looking that way but with the expense of the barber i wouldn't talk about the expense for us getting our hair done but the barber just to cut some little hair off 40 to 50 dollars a time that's crazy but i definitely told hubby he needs to start going to the barber like every two weeks because can't take no after about three three to four weeks i can't take it like you're gonna need to go to the barber so if any of you females feel me on that, definitely drop a comment down below. But anyway, I'm done for now. Yesterday I had used the La Roche Posay, um, which is just a moisturizing cream, but this one actually targets, you know, eczema, dermatitis, the rashes and stuff like that. So hopefully this will work. So I'm only gonna use this today. Honestly, I don't have anything else going on. I'm just going to lay down for a while, maybe get back up and fold some clothes because the laundry has to be done. And then, and then that may actually be it for this vlog. So 
So before I go, if you do have any skin recommendations, or I should say product recommendations for me to try, I want to say hopefully it's more natural things. Like I have some aloe in there. I'm wondering if I should rub some aloe on my face, but I know aloe itches when I use it on my hair. So I really, I'm not sure about doing that. Well, hubby suggested that I take the Benadryl tablet just so that, you know, it could circulate into my system. So I'm thinking about doing that. And then, like I said, if you guys have any, like maybe natural skin remedies that I can try just to get rid of this quickly, let me know. But um, I definitely want to thank you if you've made it this far to the vlog. That means you're a real one, you're a true one. And I also want to say that I appreciate the small community that I am slowly building, but I appreciate you guys for being here, for watching the videos, for commenting. I want to thank you all and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.